I'll be showing you how to find winning products using the Facebook ads library. To get to the Facebook ads library, just head over to Google, search for Facebook ads library, and it should be the first link that shows up. And what this is, is a library of all the ads running on Meta right now. So in terms of the overall strategy to use this, you're going to head to the library. You want to filter to the country that you're selling in. As you can see what products are selling well in the specific countries. In this case, I'm going to be using the United States. So there are two ways in which we can search here. If you have a competitor, you can search for their exact socials here, and we can take a look at the ads they're running. Alternatively, we can search by the niche that your store is in. So we can find what other people are running for this same type of product. So I think the best way to go through this is to just go through some examples. So let's go and set this up. I'll select United States as my country. As for the ad category, I'm going to select all ads here. And let's say my store sells bracelets. So I'm gonna search up bracelet here. So you're gonna be displayed with a lot of results. Results. We can see over 50,000 results here. So let's do some filtering to narrow this down. So under filters here, I'm going to select it. For languages, I'll select English here, although it should mostly be English as I only selected the US. I want to set this to active ads as active ads are a great indicator that that ad and product has done well. If it's been active for weeks or months, that's usually a very strong indication that that is a winning formula. As if it's turned off, it means that ad wasn't performing very well. In terms of the date, I'm going to filter this to just the last few months here. Let's say 2024. And let's just head to the beginning of May, giving about a month and a half. Let's give it two months and go back to April 1st. So I'll click apply these three filters here, and that's going to narrow this down to about 11,000. So still quite a few, but it's going to make it much easier. And this is a very broad category. So it's sorting these by impressions on or after April 1st to the current date here. And so for each of these ads, I can take a look at the ad details. For example, this one was launched on June 5th. So it's been running for about three weeks now. And if I click on the view ad details, I can see the products that are being advertised. I can see the ad copy is being used and I can find out more about the advertiser. This one has about 2000 likes here. This one looks to be a send message campaign. Let's find a product one here. This one is shop now and we can actually click on the link that they're advertising to so we can see the exact product and because this is such a broad category i'm actually going to filter the data a little bit let's go back to june 1st here apply these three filters and they're still going to be active ads we can see when they started running so if i scroll down here i can see this ad has been active for about three weeks now and it's a bracelet pack so if I click on the ad details, I can see it's running on all the platforms here. And if I take a look at the advertiser, there's about 2.1 million followers. So this is quite a big bracelet company. So if I click on the shop now here, it's going to open up that website itself. And I can see they're selling $25 bracelet packs and they're linking to quite a few different examples here. So not a specific product, but more of a category. So if I was selling bracelets, maybe I want to consider selling bracelet packs and I can have some similar ad creative. It looks like just a photo with two different sets of bracelets. It's quite a big store as well with quite a large following on social. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have all your expenses, different revenue items, cost goods sold, Facebook ads, and so on. So you need a place to keep track of all that in one place. And that's where our sponsor profit calc comes in the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for, such as the last seven days to get real time calculations so you can truly understand your store's performance. It syncs seamlessly with Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost goods sold providers. So you can get set up extremely quickly. It's gonna have tons of analytics and metrics so you can get a true understanding of your store. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and there's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. You can also search for it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. As mentioned there's a 15 day free trial so make sure you check that out. So that was bracelets. Let's search wallets now and see what comes up next. Let's actually just change that to one wallet here. Again let's apply our filtering so let's go to active ads. Let's set this to June the 1st again and apply these two filters here. So I can see Phantom Wallet has been running quite a few ads. I can see this Wallet Ninja ad has been active since March the 13th here. So that's a decent amount of time. So let's click on the ad details. This actually looks like a business card. So maybe not our particular niche here. But if I scroll up, I can see this one has been running about three weeks and it's a Phantom Wallet ad. So let's click on the summary details. So again, we can see the different ads. We can take a look at more information because this ad is actually launched in the EU, I believe, because we have EU 
transparency so I can see all the locations being included in. I can see the reach as well for each country, who they're advertising to. So there's actually more information. So this one has about 24,000 followers here. So a decent size. But if we wanted to create this same ad based on this EU transparency, it gives us quite a bit more details. So we can see this only has about 5,600 reach. So it's probably running at a pretty low budget here. But this process can be repeated over and over again as we continue to search through. So for example, if we want to see an ad in the EU, Let's go and filter, not by the United States. Let's go to Germany as an example. All ads, wallet, search here. Again, applying our filters. Let's go to active ads and we'll go from June 7th this time. So let's filter again. So I can see this company paper wallet has been running since April 21st. So again, let's see ad details, EU transparency. So 773 reach. So not a lot of money has been spent here. So if we scroll down further, we have these ads running on June the 7th. These are clutch wallets. And again, not very much reach. So this process is something that can take a little bit of time to find something that is working well. So overall though, the process is to find a brand which you know sells a similar type of product that you sell so we can see what ads they're doing well for them. Alternatively, we can search by keyword and find the category that we're selling in to find ads that are doing well and we can see exactly what product they're selling. Now to note, I have no affiliation with any of these brands here. I just kind of searched them up in the Facebook ads library. If you're searching for countries in the EU as well, that can really help as it's going to give you way more details on how the ad has performed. This is going to conclude the video on how to find winning products on the Facebook ads library. Overall, it's searching through your niche or category and finding what ads have done well. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.